Hello, welcome back to Blender CC Live. Today I want to show you how you can import USDZ file into Blender. So USDZ file is quite new uh, still. Uh, it's been there for three years, but uh, I think only recently it's becoming more popular and supported by many apps, including Procreate. So USDZ, this is an example uh, one, it's an example gallery from Apple. You can download, for example, this tin toy. Um, and the USDZ is looking like this. You can share it to your iPhone or iPad and just it's just gonna run and you can use it as AR. So if you want to open this, you can use Xcode and extract the USDZ. A better way if you have like the latest Blender 3.0, I'm using the 3.0 beta. You can actually import uh, and export USD. USD is like uh, the format that Pixar use while USDZ is the, the one I think uh, Apple work with Pixar, kind of like a zip or a compressed version of the USDZ. So just now, I just duplicate the USDZ here and then change the extension name into zip and I just dub double click. And then what you, can, what you see here, there's gonna be like a USDC file. Um, still have the animations. And then we also get all these texture files that you can now import into Blender. It's just like the normal, the roughness and metalness. So let's try just file, import, USD, C, under download, toy drummer. When you load this, turn on the import USD preview. This one will set the material also import USD. Now we have our character. Let's display this uh, with a with a texture. Okay, this one you can you can observe. Uh, you can observe this. Observe this with uh, some light, for example, and reflections. So I'm using EV. Okay, uh, so let's see how the material is working for us. When Blender imported, uh, we can see it's already using the principal BSDF with the diffuse, metalness. You can observe it this way. So metallic, roughness. It has clear coat as well and a clear coat roughness so it's pretty cool this is pretty pretty full on shaders you might notice the color is changing as I select uh, the texture if we are in this mode viewport shadings we can also use ambient occlusion I think yep and let's give this floor a shader If you want to have reflection and stuff, you, you want to turn this on. Okay, it's looking pretty nice. Okay, this is EV. You can now save this tin toy. Because this is already inside Blender, I think you can also animate it. Oh, the animation is still working. It's pretty cool. So you can make modifications, make different animations. Maybe animate this toy drummer or maybe like create instance. If you put this inside a collection, you can actually make, make instance from collections. Uh, what I mean is that, so when you import your USD, it comes with all these elements. It's actually quite tidy. Um, select hierarchy and then tap M, put it into new collections, call it tin toy. So now it's inside this collection. If you shift A, create another tin toy, you can do that. And this is something that you can, of course, you can use geometry nodes and create multiple tin toy and then you can export it out. So now we have two tin, tin toy. You can hide the original. This is just an instance it should be working pretty fast and you can create multiple copy yeah it's gonna be 
working for us. Okay, uh, what else I want to talk about? I think the lighting, yes. Okay, this is just a basic lighting with the sun. You can set up camera inside Blender. You can actually use it and you can render it. So the idea with uh, USD or USDZ format is like USDZ will work right away um, as AR on Apple devices at the moment. Uh, soon for Android, I think. Um, this is just some of Apple examples. Let's try the teapot or like the TV. You can just quickly shift the, uh, I mean, command D to duplicate and then convert this to zip. Double click, file, import, USD, downloads, so teapot, oops, teapot, import, we have our teapot, teapot now. So it's nicely set up. Um, so the idea with the uh, USDZ or USD in the future, I think you can easily, you know, you can export this out. You can create a scene, you can export it out with a behavior and what whatever uh, you want to. This format is uh, something that being used by Pixar Animation Studio, uh, now owned by Disney. But uh, yeah, Pixar, Pixar has been using this to create like a really complex scenes. And this is something that will work with your, uh, with your device, mobile device in the future, I think, to create a complex scenes for scenes, man, uh, scenes management. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, this is how it works. And this is using EV. I can switch to Cycles. And I believe this is Cycles X, but it's not using GPU yet. Uh, I'm using Apple M1 Mac. Uh, but if we use like the sky texture, it's already looking pretty nice. Sun rotation, sun elevations, right? It's looking very real, and it it's, uh, it renders really fast as well. And you can turn on denoising. You see, in just a few samples, it's already created like a nice looking render. So yeah, that's a quick look at Apple USDZ and how we can use it inside Blender. Hopefully you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.